often when uh, young people start socialising in their kind of late teens, hopefully, hopefully it's still late teens, uh, the stories on the following day are often about the, the crazy things that happened and the mistakes that happened and the, uh, you know, having too much to drink and then spilling curry all over yourself or um, various little situations, all those kind of things. Right? And it becomes kind of, that's like the fascination of, of, of the, the, the day after the night before, okay? Kind of laughing at all of the mistakes. And this, this usually or often progresses into kind of, into bigger mistakes, into uh, bigger faux pas and superficial relationships and that kind of thing. But the, the mentality remains kind of the same. There is, there is regret there, but we have to pretend that we're just laughing at it. It's all fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We, we made mistakes, but they're, 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 they're grand. They're, there's no problem. There's no big deal. Just laugh it off and everything will be fine. Uh, but of course, as I say, then as we get a little older then into our 20s, early 20s, uh, those mistakes can be can be an awful lot bigger and permanent and painful and so we but we're left in it with this situation where you're still not allowed actually re voice your regret even though it's in there you know if, if you were to say to someone I've, I've made mistakes oh no 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 you have it's fine you just need to go out a little more often you've done nothing wrong right don't be so hard on yourself even though deep down in our heart of hearts we know that we've we've made mistakes and we've we've done things that are that are wrong, and so like a life that leads us away from God is a life actually that becomes more and more full of regret, not freedom. Right, so like a life with the Lord is very 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 different. If you had one day to live, what would you do? If you had one hour left to live, what would you do? When Jesus had one day left to live, he washed feet. Saint uh, Don Bosco asked a little guy who was entrusted to his care, who incidentally became a saint afterwards, Dominic Savio. They were outside playing a game of football with the lads. He had a, uh, Don Bosco was, uh, was uh, an apostle of the youth, an incredible uh, saint for, for the youth in, in Rome there at the time. I'm oh, sorry, Turin. Um, so he, he asked uh, Dominic Savio, what would you do if you had one hour left to live? And Dominic responded, I'd probably finish this game of football. You know, it's a, that might sound a bit anticlimactic, really, you know what I mean? If you had one hour left to live, surely you should be doing all of these dramatic things to kind of get your stuff in order, get yourself in order before you leave. But a person who lives with the Lord doesn't live with regret because they don't do these kind of crazy things that then they have to try and patch up or try and convince themselves that it was all okay. They live in freedom. And so when your time comes, you don't have anything that was left undone because otherwise you would have done it already. Like today, I mean, if, if, if today were to be your last day, what would you do differently? Hopefully, nothing. Hopefully you would do nothing differently that you're living this day already in the best way that you can and so if yeah if i were to if i were to be receive a, a bad diagn fatal diagnosis whatever it is you've got 24 hours to live that i'd finish celebrating this mass i'd go have breakfast with my family here and uh catch up with my emails and and then head on my, my merry way i suppose you know i mean there shouldn't be any regrets you know I mean, I, this should never be i should have Ask that person for forgiveness. I should have reconciled with that person. I should have paid that debt. I should have. Th th there should be no should haves. And if there are, if we have recognized that there are should haves in my head, in my mind, in my memory at the moment, well, then now is your time to fix it. Today is the day to, to, to reconcile. Today is the day to, to make that good. Because when a saint is asked, what would you do if you had one hour, one day left to live? They would do exactly what they're doing at that moment. And so we ask the good Lord today to heal our hearts of any regret, of any hurt. That we will not ever live our lives trying to, to justify our mistakes or trying to patch over them. But that we will live a life in freedom. The kind of freedom that only the Lord can give. Amen. Amen.